Let's take a look at text expander. Now this is the text expander window, but usually you aren't gonna see this. You're just gonna be using text expander snippets when you are writing emails or really in any type of document. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click out of this. I'm gonna come back to it in a little bit, but I wanna show you how text expander works. Now, let's say that I was responding to an email about a really common question that I get. And a lot of times people ask me, Bjork, what is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? I know there are these two different things, but which one should I use? It's a common question I get, and I used to just write the response out. But eventually I thought, man, this is taking a lot of time writing the almost exactly same response to everybody. So I use Text Expander now to have a pre-written response that I use a text expander snippet for. And this is how I do it. So when I'm writing that email, I might say, uh, let's say, hey, Joe. And then I would go ahead and write my text expander snippet. And for this, it is comma WordPress. And then when I press space bar, it populates an entire text expander snippet into the email. Now it's really slick because this is exactly what I wanna to say to this person. I can go ahead and just add my signature and then I can go ahead and send that. Now I have it for really long phrases or really long groups of text like this, but I also have it for shorter ones like let me know if you have any other questions and for that it's comma LMK. Press enter and it will populate that sentence in for that little uh, snippet that I have. So that's the basics of how Text Expander works. And in order to enter those in, you would just go in and you would add those as a snippet. So let's say that I wanted to add a new snippet and that snippet was, hope you have a great weekend. I'm only gonna use this on Fridays when I'm sending people a message and I wanna end it by saying, hope you have a great weekend. So this is gonna be the content, what is populated when we type our abbreviation. The label is just for me to keep track of, and I'm just gonna say great weekend. And then the abbreviation is what I'm gonna type that will eventually create this uh, longer sentence. So I'm just gonna say weekend. And I use comma here because I don't want that to populate every time I type weekend. I only want it to populate when I type comma weekend because that's a phrase that, or that's a word that I'll never use. I'll never say comma weekend like that. I'll say comma space weekend, but I'll never say comma weekend. So that's how you create a text expander snippet. And now when I say weekend, it'll populate into hope you had a great weekend. So it's a really basic overview of how Text Expander works, but it's a great time saver and it's a tool I'd really recommend you use, especially if you're emailing a lot.